the fabric this goes for 15000 15000 uh, mm -hmm. okay. fabric this is and very, very fine yeah. so the camera get it well so how about the suits how much do you charge for sewing suits okay suits we charge 30000 for sewing suits 30000 uh, yes that's workmanship down. not fabric inclusive you bring your fabric okay. if you want us to get fabric for you mm -hmm. depending on the type of fabric now because there are various uh, types of fabrics yeah. and Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. It's your favorite Twitter media analyst, Ibe from OB Real Estate. And we are here today at Belani Telos in New Heaven, Enugu, Nigeria, to come and interview the CEO to give us more explanation on the prices of telling business. So stay tuned in this channel if you are new here. Don't forget to share, subscribe, like, and drop your opinion about this video. Thank you and remain here as we go inside to go and explore more about the telling business. Thank you. That's right. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. So my welcome. name is Ebube from OB Real Estate. Oh, nice. I'm Chid in Jersey. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Welcome to Bellani. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay, so we came here today to ask you some few questions regarding to your business. Oh, nice. So, You're welcome. Can we go about that? Okay. <laughs> can I sit down? Please go. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, the first question we have here. So I would want to know your name. Okay, my name is Chidin Jersey. Chidin Jersey? Yes. Okay, where are you from? Ah, uh, Enugu, of course. Which side in Enugu? So maybe your Udi, brothers can connect with Udi, you. the local government, Abo, to be precise. Okay. The name of my village is Abo, you know, the local government. Okay. So what's the address of this place? Mm, 23 Basi Duke. Basi Duke. New Heaven, Enugu. Okay. The name of your company? The name of my company is Bellani Taylor's and Fashion Academy. Okay, that's fine. So, so, what do you do here on your position? My position? <laughs> I'm the creative director. Creative director? director. Not just director. No, I'm the creative director of um, Bellani Taylor's. Okay. Yeah. So, so, what we do, as the name implies, we make nice outfits for individual clients. Okay. Yeah. And... Um, uh, industrial uniforms for companies okay. and uh, general purpose uniform for different institutions. Okay. Yes. In addition to that, we also train people um, on everything regarding fashion from cutting clothes, pattern drafting mm -hmm. to actual tailoring. Okay. We train on both um, Male tailoring and uh, female tailoring. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. So you sew all kind of clothes, traditional, English, and all that. We got you covered. We Anything, you covered. every everything clothes. So how long? How long does it take you to sew uh, less than one clothes? Maybe a suit, something like this or this. How long does it take you to sew a complete clothes? Um. Well, it depends on the type of clothes. Okay. If it's a very simple, like a shirt, yeah, it will take an average of, um, on the average, um, say, two to three hours to make a shirt. Wait, like two to three hours? To make one shirt. Out and ready. But the regular uh, Nigerian tailor will always give you like two weeks. They will tell you come back to one week well, time that, why, or two weeks time. Why, so, why they would give you that kind of date is yeah. um, because of the number of outfits they have to make okay. like me i also give like two weeks oh okay. yes okay. because um when you have a number of clothes to make yeah you don't want somebody to, to you don't want to tell somebody to come back in two hours time and pick up the clothes <laughs> <laughs> that's true. no we do that sometimes yeah if you tell us that ah, i need this clothes like right now mm. i will tell you we'll give you that kind of price um, we would quickly deliver your clothes but at it it will come at a cost Okay, mm -hmm. because most people believe that whenever you charge someone for a cloth and they deliver it in the next two to three hours, the average Nigerian will take that you didn't do any hard work pertaining to that. And maybe when you charge the person 10k, why are you trying to give you the 10,000? The first will feel cheated because 
Ogasi, Kepani, mm, Oge, you quickly Bukwins. delivered. So, uh, so that's why. So you have to take your time to mm, justify mm, the amount the person is paying. Yes. So someone <laughs> said it's a kind of side game because if yes. you deliver quickly, uh, hey, they will feel like Neo will be amount for goes goes. Well, yeah. To an extent, some people feel that way. So when you delay their work, mm. they feel that you've done something thorough. Okay. They feel that um, you have invested your time properly, so mm. it, it justifies how much they're paying for the outfits. But for on the other hand, some clients also don't look at um, how long it takes to produce clothes. What they are looking at is um, how how neatly their work is done okay. and um, the fitting of the clothes. Once the clothes fits well and the finishing is right, mm. they're good. Okay. So what's the hardest type of clothes to sew? Or like the hardest. most complicated type of clothes. So you can tell the, the viewers in case if someone wants to give you another, let them know what they are ordering. The most complicated, I would say. Well, some it... kind some type of wedding gown. Okay. Okay, you sew wedding gown. Yes. Wow. Well, it's not even the sewing that is the challenge. I think it's where the where it's most the, the part that is most difficult is um embellishment. Yeah. Was embellishment uh, trying to um, add some um, designs and some you know applique, just trying to make the cloth look rich. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is where it's most difficult. So that's the most complicated. So what traditional clothes and English clothes. No, those are not so difficult. Um, suit, suit is uh, well, some type of suit is difficult, but no suit on generally suit is not difficult. I think it's just wedding gown. Okay, mm, that is the only type. Of so how much do you charge for sewing clothes like the wedding gown and some of the fine suits we are seeing here? Well, that would be difficult to answer because um, how much you would charge depends on um, the style. And all the components, all the, the the all the all the things that you have to add to the clothes. Mm. So, um, well, on the average, for senator, on the average between eight to fifteen thousand. Senator, eight to fifteen thousand. Uh, but let's say your standard. You know, people have standard in their business. Mm -hmm. Someone can say, I don't charge below one thousand, hundred thousand, or there. So, what's your standard? What's the least price you can charge for uh, sewing? So in what kind of clothes now? Okay, maybe the, the, the English clothes or senator. Okay, when it when it comes to senator, mm. well, some people now separate it and say, okay, this one is Accra mm. and this one is suiting fabric. Mm. But I mean, both of them are they are about the same thing. So we charge eight thousand naira for Ankara, mm. and then ten to fifteen thousand. The minimum we charge for senator that are made with suiting fabric is ten thousand. Ten thousand naira. So the ten thousand is for your workmanship. It's not without the material. The person will bring. No, the material. person brings material. If you want us to source material for you, mm. we also do that. Do you sell material? Yes, we do, but not here. We have another shop. Okay, you have another uh, shop. fabric. Okay, Ooh, fine. Inside New Heaven Market, not far from here. Oh, okay, that's fine. And the next question is, how did you start? How did I start? That's a long one. Like, that's a long story. <laughs> well, let me just cut it short. Yeah, sure. cut it short. I started with shoemaking. I didn't start with tailoring. Okay. So I did shoemaking for about um, five to six years. I started shoemaking from my second year in the, school, in the, in the university. Mm -hmm. And um, did it up until I was about to go for my NYSC. And um, okay, after the NYSC, I did a bit of the corporate work to for about two years mm. and then got back to fashion so on getting back to fashion instead of doing just shoemaking i decided to do both shoemaking and tailoring mm -hmm. um when i started the tailoring um it was um the tailoring was a bit challenging because i wasn't getting the kind of professional tailors that i needed at the point so i realized that ah man I have to be the one doing all of this. So, so because of the, it was a bit overwhelming then. So mm -hmm. I had to drop shoemaking and focus on tailoring. Tailoring. Okay. okay. So the tailoring business, I believe it has been going well. No, it has. It's lucrative in Nigeria, especially in, a, in an wow. environment where we do a lot of our shit. <laughs> we don't joke with our shit. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So even if, you, that, yeah. even if you don't do any other work, at least the whole wedding, I should be yeah. and, uh, uh, chief Tensi, Ashibi, and of yeah. course, Beria. Mm. 
<laughs> so that's another um that's a lot of work a lot of uh, okay yeah. okay that's wonderful you get so, a lot of patronage from ashibi okay people that do wedding and all that their jobs come all the time of course okay. yeah. so that's, uh, once again another question how much do you charge for your sewing again because i didn't think you explained it on the other time so tell us how much you charge for traditional wears the wedding gown the print trouser and suits uh, all those things just depends on the style that someone gives you mm. uh, but um for some type of outfits yeah we can we charge as low as four thousand for some outfits yeah but there is no limit to how much you can charge there is no max <laughs> <laughs> so as you bring it, <laughs> yeah. some clothes we charge up to three hundred and fifty thousand to make it. Like the sewing, three hundred and fifty k. Hope you guys. So there that. is no limit. <laughs> there is no. Okay. So there's no there limit. is no max. <laughs> okay. Maybe I would say depending on the level of the client. Like uh, coming. Well, not just depending on the level of the client. I think depending on the how much work uh, that will be put into making your outfit. Mm. Because there are some outfits, especially the wedding gown, where you have to um, hand knit a lot of things, okay. where you have to um, bead almost like the entire clothes, mm. like one bead after another bead, yeah. like bead the entire clothes by yourself. So it depends on how much work you're putting in and how much man hours you're going mm. to put into the production. Do you hire? Do you hire costumes like dinner gowns? Do you sew them and keep them higher? Because I know some people just do it as a business. They get clothes, costumers, powders, and all that. They hire to people 5K for each day or whatever the amount. They yes, we do that, especially for those that just want to go and style somebody for just a few hours. Yes, we for do. modeling. Modeling, and uh, maybe they want to style an artist yeah. just for a video shoot and all. Okay. So that's fine. Do you deliver outside of Enugu State? Mm. I think it's only space where we haven't delivered. Eh? <laughs> we have maybe it's just space that we have not delivered. <laughs> so you so delivered deliver to anywhere. anywhere. <laughs> even in diaspora. As long as people live there, we deliver. Even to any country, we deliver. So to how any do you go about it? Because maybe the one of interstate mm -hmm. can be quite understandable. Mm -hmm. Then maybe someone from Germany, Europe, Italy, or there mm, might thank call God you. for DHL. Okay, DHL. So we deliver via DHL. So how about the logistics? Who's gonna pay for it? Mm. Um, the logistics, depending on the volume of um, order, mm. if your order is plenty, mm. we can bear the, the, the cost of delivery. Okay. But if it's just few outfits, like mm. one or two, mm. the cost goes to the client. Oh, okay. So do you train people? Yes, we do. Okay. We train people on both male tailoring and female tailoring. Okay. For a period of, anyway, they choose how long, students choose how long they want to train okay. but for a minimum of six months okay i don't know if that's true but how much do you charge in training people can you say that in the camera <laughs> yes okay how much do you charge we charge um 350,000 okay. for one year duration or for one year duration 500,000 for two years duration okay so that's fine and how long have you been in this business we've been in this business for roughly eight years Eight years. Eight years. Okay. Mm. And what has been your experience and uh, your challenges? Ah, the experience. The experience has been very rewarding. Okay. As challenging as it is, yes. But I think a rewarding one. The challenges, a lot. <laughs> you know, nice. anything that you're doing in Nigeria, especially you now. The, you see the dollar rate or <laughs> well, so tell us. From the dollar rate <laughs> to the fuel to okay. the... So the epileptic power supply okay just a lot a lot a lot and uh, um of course the galloping inflation okay. so you go to the market today to get the accessories that you're working with or the components that you're working with mm -hmm. and um, maybe you give a, a a a client a cost what it would cost to produce a cloth today yeah. Tomorrow, that cost is changing because of the inflation. Mm. You go to market today, you buy this thing at X amount. Yeah. Tomorrow morning, you're see, tomorrow you're seeing a different price. Definitely. And we can't continue to change our prices 
I mean, when when for our, on on the client side, you can't continue mm. to give clients different price just every week. No, because that's what's happening in Nigeria. Because today you can it's come to buy this phone. But, uh, the next day the price has changed. The way dollar, I mean, everything is going. That's just the thing affecting me. And I, I mean, and uh, and right now the power supply is quite epileptic. The cost of diesel mm. is just rising, like sky, skyrocketing. And yeah. I mean, that's basically the challenge, you know. But I think it's a general challenge. It's not peculiar to fashion. Yeah, it's yeah. something that it cuts across every industry. Mm. So we just have to look for a way to navigate the challenge and keep moving. <laughs> Definitely. So, sir, um, we want you to show some of the clothes you've seen, so we can show that to the camera. Okay, some of the clothes. Yeah. So maybe we can stand up and even go to the other side where you did. I wonder make. how the clothes will look. Um, just holding it on my hand. No, I can not put it, that. Putting it on a mannequin. Okay. Well, it's not going to look. It's not going to look so wonderful. But I mean, just this is just a simple um, booboo gown. Okay, this is the boo boo gown. This is just a simple. Why is it called boo boo gown? Is it because just a kaftan, comfortable outfit for a woman? How much is this? Um, this is with the fabric. Okay, so with the fabric, this goes for fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand uh, mm -hmm. okay, naira. This is and very, very fine. Yeah. So the camera get it well. So how about the suits? How much do you charge for sewing suits? Okay, suits we charge thirty thousand for sewing suits. Thirty thousand naira. Yes, that's a workmanship, down. not fabric inclusive. You bring your fabric. Okay. If you want us to get fabric for you, mm -hmm. depending on the type of fabric now, because there are various uh, types of fabrics. Yeah. And so I think um, on the average, you can do, we do 50,000. For, for uh, charging? We can do 50,000, but f for both the fabric uh, and the scene. Okay. Mm -hmm. So is there another samples there, or maybe we should go to the other side? And how about this trouser? Okay, this is just a trouser. So trouser is 10,000 there. Just fabric for, and sewing. Fabric and sewing. Fabric and sewing. 10,000. Uh, yes. This is beautiful. So, do you have uh, any other samples here? Or maybe we can go to the uh, other there section. Are a couple of them. Okay. This is, um, okay, this is a peplum. Okay. How this about is this? This is a peplum dress. Camera. Okay, this is a peplum dress. Peplum dress. Peplum is this thing flying that yeah. masks the tummy. Okay. <laughs> so, how much for this? Okay, so this um, without the fabric, mm. this goes for twenty. Twenty thousand without yeah. the fabric, yeah, because this particular client brought her fabric. Okay. Yes. This is very beautiful. So I need a sample. Okay, and dear viewers, don't forget that Obi Real Estate got you covered for all land and property deals anywhere in Enugu and that of Southeast. And please do reach out to us before connecting to any of our clients for payment confirmation and all that. So, so let's view some of these beautiful clothes once again. Okay, so this is also a booboo dress. Booboo -boo dress. Yes. So why is something still comfortable? Boo -boo? Some people call it rich anti vibe. Rich anti vibe. <laughs> because it's big. Just something that you just throw on your body and you're out to your party. So how much for this beautiful dress? Um, this is also this is ten thousand naira. Ten thousand naira. Yes. Oh, without yes. the fabric, I mean, with the fabric, is it goes for fifteen. Okay. This is really beautiful. Okay. Any other clothes? Mm, most of them I've given out. So we have some on the mannequin. So we can look at the ones on the mannequin. Okay, this one's. Yes. Okay. So, camera, you can come and show the viewers this. So, so this is also a purple dress. Okay. Yeah. And also the other one. Mm -hmm. Can we also go inside while you it's show the sewing, dress? The sewing okay. section. All right, I will. Okay, let's all right. This. So let's check where we'll make the production. Okay, welcome to the production uh, section. Okay. All right, so this is where we do everything cutting. Okay, and of course, where they sew the clothes. Yes, this is a machine. Yeah, so is this industrial machine or this is industrial sewing machine. Yeah, okay, it uses power. So, so without power, you can't do anything. Exactly. Here. That's why I said so. The epileptic power supply yeah. is, is really telling on us. Okay. But we. So, just another production space. Okay. So, all the production spaces, students are also make use of them for their practical. Okay. So, students stay here for their practical. practical. Okay. Here and there, every production space. 
Okay. So this is the production room too. Yeah. All right, so here is production room three. Okay. Yeah. Another table for ironing and cutting. Okay. Well done, bro. So just machines for sewing okay. for production. Students also stay here. Everybody. Well done. Very fine. Another production room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. They are all fine. So cutting table. This is okay. actual production going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These are my junior apprentice. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Yeah, one. <laughs> so your machines are really fine. Production room four. Okay. For Bellani Tellers. For Bellani Do you have any other production room? No. Okay. Four rooms for production. Okay. So thank you so much for your time. And Thank please, you can you call much. your phone number in case the viewers want to connect 081 with you? 081 89 2 2 2 2 2 2 Okay. Thank you so much. Do you much. need me to repeat it? No. Okay. Repeat 081 89 Okay. Thank you so much for your time. Thank and you And please very don't much. forget to share, subscribe, like, and drop your opinion on this video. I remain it with your favorite Twitter media analyst from OB Real Estate. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. All right. Cheers. Okay. So what do you have to tell the viewers about this wonderful interview? Mm. Thank you, Be Real Estate. Such a wonderful session. Yeah, guys, I've, we got you covered for everything outfit, male and female outfit. And for some of us that, are, that have been wanting to learn to trade, to do fashion training, you can come to Bellani Taylor's and Fashion Academy and you'll learn everything that you need to know about fashion. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much. And Thank Bellani you. tell us got you covered for all types of sewing, unisex, Thank right? You. Yeah, unisex. Okay. Uh, male tailoring, female tailoring, um, male outfit, female outfit. From your shirt, corporate clothes, your wedding gowns, your traditional, whatever it is that you want to make. Thank you. So please, can you call your number? Um, oh eight one six nine two two zero two eight four. Oh eight one six nine. Okay. Two two zero two eight four. Okay, thank you so much for your time. Thank and you. please don't forget to share, subscribe, like, and drop your opinion about this video. Exactly. OB Real Estate got you covered for all types of land and property deals anywhere in Enugu and that of Nigeria extensively. Thank you so much for watching and God bless you. Bye. Thank you.